I would like to never do that again in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we all just finished uh, dinner and we are straightening up for Amir. He comes in the morning and I'm going to start setting up the Christmas tree. I think maybe. So this is our new Christmas tree. It's a T56. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Papa Blaze. So you can make it either have warm white lights, which I prefer, or uh, colored lights, or you can have them interchange. Uh, my sister and mother like colored lights, but I like the classy warm whites. But, oh, that sounded really wrong. <laughs> we love all colors. We, we love all colors. Um, it's seven and a half feet. Fun. And it's like flocked. I think that's the right term. I don't know. It looks like it's got some snowies on it. So let's let's. And it's only got three parts, which I'm used to doing. So let's there, let's try Buddhist. Ooh, looks so pretty. Oh, we even got pine cones on here. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <gasps> I'm excited. Look at everything I just did. I put all these screws in <laughs> and I took this out. I think this is the base. So this is the first thing that has to go in. And then we have this thing. Look at all this fake snow I already have on me. <laughs> 2,000 years later. I would like to never do that again in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Forgot to show these in the last video. Oh, well, I showed them, but I forgot to show that I picked them up. So I asked my mother which rock she wanted me to paint, and she said yes. <laughs> so she wanted all of them. So we got the Peace and Joy one, and they all come with three: the, a yellow, a green, and a red paint, and a little paintbrush. You know, so it's a cute little thing to put in like a kid's stocking or something. Um, a Mary with a little snowman and elf squad. So I think I'm gonna paint one tonight, maybe. Or maybe when Amir gets here, me, my sister, and him can do one. I don't know. No, I'm selfish. I wanna do it all myself. <laughs> I just finished painting the Peace and Joy rock. I know you can see white through there, but there is absolutely no way you can get a thin enough brush. I have a brush of every size, and there's just no way you're gonna get through that. I'll try later when this is more dry than it is, but I'm going to move on to, uh, you know, this is supposed to be like a gnome. My theory, it's a wizard. I think this is a wizard. You cannot tell me different. That is a, that's a wizard's hat. This is Merlin. Okay. This is Merlin as a child and I'm about to paint him. Okay. Our little wizard is all done because <laughs> literally my sister just came out of her room and I was like hey look and she's like oh wizard and I was like yeah right I mean he's supposed to be a Christmas gnome and she's like no that's like definitely a wizard <laughs> I'm like yeah it's definitely a wizard okay how am I supposed to like be mad at you for like destroying my entire room and biting the shiz out of me when you so sweet a look like this what a sweet, cute, little, evil bitch. <laughs> so Amir has landed. I mean, it, he landed this morning. <laughs> it's like almost 6 p.m. Um, it took my father and I no less than an hour and a half trying to set up that GD Christmas tree. <sighs> like we say to so many human beings, you're lucky you're so pretty because I, mm -mm. but what we didn't know is that the flocking, which is the fake snow on the tree, um, it came off 
so easily and in such quantity. It's, it's not like powder, but it's like fuzz, like cotton fuzz type stuff. And it's not, as far as we know, like deadly toxic to animals like cats, but it can make them like sick. Um, <laughs> so that was worrisome. Um, but we read that if you put like orange or lemon peels, like underneath the tree, um, because cats do not like the scent of citrus, they will immediately stay away from the tree. Now, Dexter um, is obsessed with Christmas trees. Uh, if you have been with us in the past two years, for the past two Christmases, you will have seen that. So we were very concerned and he was very obsessed with this tree and I had to brush and wipe out all the flocking out of his fur and he's a Maine Coon, so it's like, <laughs> he's got a lot of fur. Uh, but we put some of the orange and lemon slices underneath the tree and I watched as he ran down the stairs, was gonna go hop into the tree, but hesitantly sniffed once at an orange peel and walked away. Thank the goodness. So we're gonna have a yummy citrusy smell as long as we switch it out once a day <laughs> and make sure it doesn't rot. And my cat will not go near the tree, which is great. I think I'm gonna go start putting on the ornaments at the moment. I'm not gonna like do everything, but I'm gonna go start, I think. I think that's a good thing. Um, I'm gonna try to leave the Cartman and Kyle ornaments to the side because that's me and my sister's thing if you guys have been watching me since I started my channel and started filming vlogmases and everything you guys know that since 2000, 2009 or 2010 we have ornaments of Cartman and Kyle. I put on Cartman, she puts on Kyle and those are usually the first two ornaments to go on the trees um, that we've had. Um, if I can find those first, then I'll put those to the side and ask her to come down and put it down, uh, put hers on with me. So, I don't know if Amir wants to help, but I won't ask him to. But if he wants him, if he wants to, I mean, more than welcome. So, these are the, I don't know what the hell that's, that's probably covering, yeah, because we had a snow globe in there. So, these are the two boxes of ornaments we found. I don't know if these are the... <laughs> only two boxes of ornaments we have. I don't think they, they might be, but hey. Oh, okay, he's playing with his toy. Okay, uh, so, and this is a Dexter toy. Hey, good boy. Um, so I'm gonna look for Cartman and Kyle in this. And then we're gonna try to decorate the tree. Found them. So we got Cartman and Clyde Frog, which is my ornament, and we got Kyle and Mr. Hanky, which is my sister's. And I also found the Christmas pickle, which means I get to hang it up, which I I usually always find the Christmas pickle. So I'm gonna call my sister down here and see if she wants to put uh, Kyle up. So we're not f totally finished decorating the tree yet, so I'm not going to do a total tree reveal, final tree reveal yet. Um, but my sister put her ornaments on and <laughs> poor Amir, he said that he hadn't decorated a Christmas tree in like 12 years or since he was 12, or some, some with the, the number 12. And I was like, why don't you put on the Christmas pickle this year? And he was so happy, like so honored to do that. He's like, is there something like I have to do? I was like, no, we're, we're not German. <laughs> it's really like pickles. Anyway, no. Words, words are supposed to come out of your mouth. That makes sense. So we watched an episode of Black Mirror 
really good episode. Um, and I am going to do my craft for the night, which is like this marionette type of Santa Claus. So I have my acrylic paints out and then my painting pens, markers out, whatever. So I'm going to do that for a little while because I'm not feeling that great. So crafting always helps me. Painting, writing, anything artistic always helps me. I've got my fake little fireplace going on in the background and I'm just going to chillax for a bit. Okay, I go to sleep for tonight. And I'll speak to you tomorrow. The next day. The next day. Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't uh, been blogging. And I'm so sorry that this blog has kind of sucked. <laughs> but I got my time of the month at like 4 a.m. this morning it's almost 9 p.m. and it's one of the worst ones I've ever had I'm trying try to keep it together for recording this um, I don't know if I'm going to be going to the hospital again um, I, probably not I'm gonna try to stick it out here as best as I can. As best as I can. <laughs> it's like I hate doing this every single month and I don't even get a baby out of it. <laughs> I can't even have a baby out of this. <laughs> I have to go through this torture every month. I have a, an appointment with a gynecologist next month to see what the hell we can do about this. But yeah, everybody just like wasn't really feeling well yesterday. I, uh, my sister wasn't feeling well. I had to help her with her exercises and everything for her, her body and everything like that. And her stomach wasn't feeling well, you know. Um, Amir was just really tired and, you know, exhausted and not feeling all that great. And he went home this morning. Um, it was just a very blah exhausting day and also there was a mass shooting the day before 10 minutes from my house at an lgbt club uh so rest in peace to five people that were gunned down um and 18 others i believe that were injured but two samaritans that were in the club two club goers took that guy down Fuck yes <laughs> Um, before the police even got there. <laughs> so that was, that's great. I mean, it's not great, but uh, it's just, it's so fucking scary that happened. Like, we've passed that club several times. It's 10 minutes away. So I know where that club is. And it's just so fucking sad. And I hate, I hate this world. <laughs> but I did do two more crafts yesterday which I'll I'll get into when I'm I'm like able to breathe and like it's really hard for me to even hold up the camera right now because like my body is so fucking weak um it, it's 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 so bad right now you guys I I can't live like this anymore I can't I, I just can't do it Hello again. I am so sorry that I have been MIA the past couple days. <sighs> it's been rough and I needed just a little bit of a break. Uh, this morning my sister and I did some crafts together. Um, she did some painting with me. I'll show you. Yeah, we just got a couple clips and I didn't do a whole bunch because we just wanted to like talk and spend time together and everything and listen to some music. But I made my dad's birth birthday, <laughs> his Christmas gift. Um, I'm, I, 
I had a certain style of art when it came to drawing and painting like that when I was um, doing that in high school and everything like that. Um, and I'm trying to retrain myself. I'm getting better, but I'm still kind of practicing. I wanted to make this like look a little bit more antique-y and weird because that's kind of our thing. Um, but I did <laughs> with this picture, gave myself blonde hair because I'm blonde now, even though that picture is, uh, that I took that from that, uh, copied that from <laughs> my, my brain shut off for a minute. Um, yeah, I haven't been sleeping, um, is from my graduation and I had brown hair, but I wanted to update it and give myself blonde hair didn't come out perfect but I think he'll really like it and I'm gonna get him something else small but because he never he every time I ask him what do you want for Christmas he's like nothing like boring <laughs> but yeah I think we're gonna head over to Dollar Tree and possibly Walmart um I have to get more canvases and a couple more art supplies maybe and maybe one or two more things I'm not entirely sure Oh, also update, they did give out uh, the Castle Gunman's uh, name, um, who shot up Club Q, that's 10 minutes from my house that I've passed several times, um, but I will not be naming him because I'm not going to give him the clout. Uh, but Club Q, we stand with you, and uh, yeah, he... <sighs> Got five people, and now they're saying 25 plus were injured. And I think, I'll put up a, a thing here. I think they said, like, dra a drag queen in heels helped get him down. Girl, I aspire to be you. Like, hello. Hello. I can't even sit properly in heels. And that is not even a joke. My feet can't, can't maneuver that way. So good on you, sis. Okay, first stop Walmart. <gasps> I've really been wanting one of these. These really nice, like anxiety, stress relief, bumble things. But I think they have ones that are cheaper than this. But let me check. Of course, I had to get the one cart that just malfunctions and doesn't work right. Because it wouldn't be my life if I didn't. I knew I saw them for cheaper, so they're like $2 cheaper. Um, so I think I'm gonna get the ice pop because that one's like the biggest. I think, oh, this one's on clearance. Ooh, how much? $2.50. All right, I'm getting this one. Okay, I'm going to the checkout. I got Mama Blaze a Christmas gift. I hope she likes it, because it's really pretty, but I don't know if she, she's gonna like it. Okay, quick mini haul of some stuff that I got. Um, Mama Blaze, um, skip to this time right here because I don't want you to see what I got you. Um, so from Walmart, I picked up just a zip up Hoodie. It's like a dark gray, just plain zip up hoodie because I needed a new plain zip up hoodie. Um, I got some of the Garnier Skin Active Marcella, my Marcellar. Why can I never pr pronounce that? Cleansing water uh, with vitamin C, all in one brightening. So to clean off my makeup. Um, I got myself another different Nirvana men's, this is from the men's department, Nirvana shirt because I love their men's tees. I think I'm going to put this in my stocking. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I did pick up that, I don't know what shape this is supposed to be, um, a rocket ship maybe, but yeah, it's rainbow cute and it's going to help hopefully with my anxiety. Uh, for Mama Blaze, she loves blankets and she loves big cats. Look at how beautiful this is. It feels so warm. So I got this for her for Christmas. 
That's a Christmas gift for her. And at Dollar Tree, I picked up some canvases of different sizes because I needed more um, for our village. They came out with a couple new things that you actually light up. They have a cobblestone cafe. <gasps> so cute. And they just have this really cute, um, like Christmassy, really big, like Victorian style house. Really cute, also lights up. Um, I got some more watercolors because I use a lot of watercolors now when I used to never use watercolors, which is weird. I got some regular pencils with erasers because uh, we don't have any in this house. Um, I got, they had these beautiful like crystal light up tree, LED trees, Christmas trees. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put that, but I need to have one. And this one, this goes with Mama Blaze's main gift. I got her a gemstone bracelet. Um, she's been wanting just a gemstone bracelet and a gemstone. Um, and I got her a very rare gemstone bracelet. Um, and I didn't know what to put it in. And then I saw this in the craft section. I hope it fits in here. So I'm gonna like paint and decorate this. Um, and then put it in here. It has a little clasp. And you can put it in here. And I thought that would be a really cute idea. So that goes with Mama Blaze's other gift. Um, is that all I picked up from Dollar Tree to show you guys? Yeah, so I got some goodies. So I'm gonna show our Christmas tree so far. Um, I We're not done with it. We don't even have um, a Christmas tree skirt uh, because the one we have does not fit around this one. Um, this one's thicker, so her skirt need to be thicker. Um, this one, I, I we all kind of agreed this one doesn't look like it needs a star on top of it. Um, which is like fine for us. I mean, whatever. Um, and like I said, it's not, hi Dex, come here, come here. This is my Dexter, did you? Hi. <laughs> you wanna be in the video? <laughs> hey, hey you little ham. Um, we're probably still gonna get more ornaments um, to fill it out, but I will show you what we have so far. That was a Dexter tail because he's walking around. And now, oh, dude, can you just like figure out what it is you're going to do? That's an awkward position, my guy. Hi, w what you doing? Hey, okay. You're going to bite me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you know, just once, just once, I'd like you not to be the devil incarnate. Here's our tree! <laughs> Okay, so this is just the warm uh, white setting, which is the classy, very nice. This is what we've been keeping it on every night. And then this is, ooh, nice and pretty. The colored lights, very pretty. Then we have, you can switch it back and forth, which I think is cute, but I'm gonna make sure to put a flash warning on here and then it can go i think this is better it's still like flash but not as like flash you know it does it slower and dims it's like dimming so i think this one is probably my favorite one um but uh i love the warm whites look it's just I actually love all of them. I think that I'm not sure about the blinking, flashing, fast mode, uh, but I really just, let's just put it, 
So I really love this tree. Um, it's just, I really wish the flocking did not come off so easily. Like, look at this. Ugh, and I wish I didn't have to put lemon essential oil on every night so we can keep Dexter from chewing on the flocking because for some reason, flocking tastes good to him. Hi, Carmen. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to sleep now. We have a big day tomorrow. It's Thanksgiving slash Native American Day. Appreciation Day, something like that. <laughs> but yes, so um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dress up a little bit, not much, but I'll, you'll see me in the next clip. You know, whatever piece, I'm going to try to get some rest now. Well, I got the very healthy three total, count them, three hours of sleep. And I cannot get this scar to go away. Anyway, I have a lot to do today. I got to get ready and I have to film and, um... We have to like do Thanksgiving, of course, um, and decorate uh, more. And uh, since we have a new TV, the big TV in the living room that we got this past August, September, I don't know, one of those months, um, I think early September, um, or, yeah, uh, whatever. Um, we had a tradition when I was a little girl. Every single year we would watch March of the Wood Soldiers. My dad, me and my sister. So I'm hoping at least me and my dad can watch it. I don't know if my sister is gonna wanna watch it, but me and him haven't watched it since I was literally probably 11 or 12 um, together, like sat down and watched it the whole movie. So I'm hoping that's something we can do. Well, I can already tell I'm not going to be able to go back to sleep for a while, so I might as well just get myself dressed and ready for the day. <sighs> it's only like 7.30, not even 8 o'clock, I don't think, a.m. So, obviously I am. So, I will see you in a minute, in a flash, when I'm dressed. <sighs> wow, I really have to wait for my curls to go down because I slept with them in with damp hair. I look like Dolly Parton right now. Not like there's anything wrong with that queen. It's just I like looser, longer curls, but they will go down during the day. <gasps> oh my God, sluts. But yeah, this is the shirt that I am wearing today. It is super comfortable. It's like this blush pink and I really love it. And earrings I'm wearing today. Really, really cute. So I actually have a lot of things I need to watch today. I need to watch all the South Park and Family Guy episodes, Thanksgiving episodes, and I need to watch, watch March of the Wooden Soldiers or Babes in Toyland. It's, it has two names. Why? I don't know. But also, um, a few years ago, I found out about the horror movie Pilgrim, which is a Hulu original guys watch it it's such a good movie it's so fun i love it so much i'm gonna have my chamomile tea i'm gonna watch my thanksgiving horror movie and i'm just gonna lay back and chill for a little bit and wait for my curls to freaking go down So we are about to have dinner 
and Papa Boys and I are going to watch March of the Wooden Soldiers while we do so. Hey. <laughs> Sorry for this temporary setup, but I have got to take my makeup off. It has been on, ah, it's been on for 14 hours now, and it's just not feeling nice on my skin. I just got done watching March of the Wooden Soldiers or Babes in Toyland, like it goes by both names. So whatever you want to call it um, with my dad. Um, this is the first time him and I have sat down and watched the full movie on Thanksgiving, like, since I was a child, and that makes me so happy. Yeah, so right now you are set up on my little table that has my little Christmas corner, or holiday corner, whatever the hell you want to call it, um, in my bedroom. So if you see, like, it has, like, a red wash, that's because that's where my, um, or a pink wash, whatever. Uh, that's where my Himalayan salt lamp is. That's why it looks like that. Right now I'm just using um, witch hazel first. Where's my mirror? I forgot my mirror. Damn it. Oh well. Oh, that feels so good. Feels so good. Okay, so I know like a lot of people probably haven't even seen that movie if you're watching this. If you are my age or younger, you've probably never even seen <laughs> this movie. It's from 1934. Hi, Dexter. No? Okay. Even Dexter joined us for like half the movie. Um, but the main villain, Silas Barnaby, which is heavily implied to be an anti-Semitic trope if you watch the movie you can see kind of that he's like the typical 1930s 1940s what they were trying to make the jewish people out to be uh but i won't say anything further he was always like one of my favorites because like i go for the villains and also he has dripped out in like the most awesome fashion ever in that in that movie, I, I, I love, but like he's this old man that kind of reminds you of Scrooge, like looks wise, and I guess personality, just like maybe a little bit more evil. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but he's from the Mother Goose tale, I believe, um, his character. But my point is, I will pop up on the screen what he looks like in the movie. This is from 1934, so I, I just need remind you on the hella good makeup makeup job that they did for especially for the 30s because the actor who plays him I don't remember his name his name is Henry something I don't remember I just looked up because me and my father were talking about the character and everything like that so I looked up the actor and I just saw a picture of his like headshot I'm now going to use the my cellar water from Garnier. Garnier, Garnier. This is what he looks like in real life. Uh, oh, ooh, daddy. If that is not the sexiest, most handsome, most dapper man, I have, how, how, did, how did they do that? That is an amazing makeup job. Like, props like what the hell seriously okay okay and i just thought it was like a funny side note that he happens to be from berlin and i'm like and he's playing like a stereotypical what they thought was jewish people back then so i forgot to show my little christmas corner like my little tree in here for this year being all set up I mean, it's, flare yeah, I have to put on a flash warning because this is where I put that little LED crystal tree. This is the rock that I made. It's technically for my mother, but she, <laughs> I was having a little anxiety the other day, so um, she let me 
have that in here. Um, yes, I made elves and crafted them for my for my reborns because I thought it would be cute and I was bored and I thought it would be a cute addition to my little corner this year. I painted this. This technically lights up too. It's an LED um, make your own ornament. Um, this is the countdown to Christmas Santa calendar thing. And yes, little mini stockings for my reports. I'm not going to put anything in them except maybe like a little candy cane or something. Um, just for decoration. I thought it was cute and I love this ornament. So I put that up there. But that, yeah, that's the, so far there's probably going to be some more changing going on throughout the month, but that's what we have. I think it's cute. So I just got done doing the rest of my face routine, some moisturizer and different gel and what not uh the cleaning for my um nose ring which i still do like a few times a week because i'm actually i don't really need to do it much at all anymore but i still like want to so um that's gonna end this vlogmas next vlogmas i had something planned but i forget now but um if you haven't already and you'd like to please go down below hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel right now and become a blazer and a part of the blaze nation we'd love to have you here as long as you're as wicked as we are look at these little christmas gnomes they are so cute i love you guys i hope you had a wonderful holiday and be safe out there black friday and everything like that just be safe in general um i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys soon and i'll speak to you guys soon Hopefully over the next couple days, I'm going to film either a makeup declutter video or my reborn reveal video. Um, one of the two, hopefully. Um, but I'm still going to be doing vlogging and vlogmas and everything like that. So I will see you guys soon. And until next time, my beautiful ones. Stay wicked.